Let's look at setting up the financial statement version. This slide is an overview of the various configuration we'll be doing to set up the financial statement version. The short transaction code for this is OB58 and here you can see the menu path. Now we need to set up a financial statement version for your company code. In this example I used AU01 like this you can use any other example. And you use this financial statement version in the financial statement report and it produce, the report will produce the way that you have designed your financial statement version. For each company code or for your each country, you might have your own way of how you want to define. But every company code will always have your assets, liabilities and equities and the penal statement. This is the core and it's same across all companies. However, how you want to classify your assets or your other financial uh, fields is up to you. For example, assets you can divide into current assets and non-current assets. And the current assets you can divide into cash and bank, other current assets, accounts receivable and so on. And under each of them you can have your own subcategory. Similarly, non-current assets you can even call it as fixed assets. And under fixed assets also you can divide into different categories. Same way for liabilities and equities. And for your income statement, you have your revenues and expenses and that also you can divide into different types like revenue, cost of goods sold, then the margins, gross profit and so on. And you can have a tax component, profit after tax, then tax, net profit after tax and so on. So depending on your company's requirement, you can set up how you want your financial statement to look like and you define all the GL accounts that you have created in your financial statement. And so the overall the total amounts, will, the debits will equal to the credit amounts. And also you have options where you have financial statement notes. This way you can actually put accounts such as down payments and bank guarantees and so on, which no, you might not want to put as part of your assets or liability accounts. You can specify them under here, like financial statement notes, especially things like bank, bank guarantees. And there are also some other accounts which you can just put under not assigned which might, you might not want to show in, inside your main financial statements. So let's now actually look at configuring the financial statement in the system. Let's look at defining the financial statement version. The SAP menu path is financial accounting new, financial accounting global settings new, general ledger accounting new, master data, GL accounts and define financial statement version. The short transaction code for this is OB58. So let's execute the transaction. So this way you define your financial statement which is both your balance sheet and your PL statement. So let's create our own one. You can see by default there's already one here, Australia standard. You can just have a look at this, but we'll create our own one. So click on new entries. And I'm going to call it AU. 02 and this is for my own company code so I'm just going to call put my company code over here AU financial statement version 1 it's going to call like that and language is going to be in English and specify my chart of accounts and leave everything as it is and save the transaction press OK to continue for the transport request now click on financial statement items. By default it's already here, financial statement notes, not assigned, pin reset and so on. Now we'll start defining the accounts for each of these sets. Let's start off with assets. So click on assets and assets also we can subdivide into many different categories like cash and bank, fixed assets and so on. So click on assets and then to subdivide this, click on create items. Let me just show you again. So select assets, you have already selected, you can select like this and create items. Let's select like this and create items. And here you can give the subcategory of assets. So I'm just going to call it cash and bank or cash equivalents. Another set of Another category, I'm just going to call it accounts receivables. Other 